Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and this is 10 more tips for Godot beginners. If you haven't seen the first one, be sure to check that out. Link will be in the description, though the sound quality is not as good as this one, just a heads up. But I'll stop wasting your time now and get to the tips in no particular order. If you have a lot of nodes or objects all in one location, you can have this button selected, and then when you click on the location, it will make a list of everything that is there. However, it might still be hard to move just one of them if that is what you need. So I would recommend changing the position of the one you want to move in its transform attributes. There are lots of places where you can access your scripts, such as in the script tab at the top, through the script icon next to a node, or other places. However, the only place I have found that gives you the option to delete a script completely is in the file system. Just right click on the script you want to delete and click the delete button. For debugging purposes, like many code editors, you can add breakpoints to your code by clicking next to the line number. If you do this, then when you run your code, it will stop the program at that line, and it will show you all the active variables, objects, and other relevant information. This will help you slow down the code for troubleshooting, letting you step through one line at a time to see what is going on. To remove a breakpoint, just click on it again. If you drag a sprite into the scene display, it will automatically add a sprite node as a child to whatever node is currently selected. Speaking of dragging and dropping, the file system does allow you to drag and drop files into it. If that is easier for you, it is an option. Depending on your art style, there are sprite importing presets that you can use to adjust your sprites so they have the correct look for your game. Select the sprite in the file system and click on the import tab. There's a preset button with a drop down menu of the most common importing settings. Select the one you want and click re-import. If you edit a sprite directly from the project file system, then when you save it you do not have to re-import it, and you can get a practically live editing of sprites this way. This can be useful for when you have to tweak little things back and forth and you need to see it in the scene to know if it's right. You can duplicate any node in the scene by clicking Ctrl D. However, I have found that sometimes attributes for duplicated nodes will be shared. You can merge nodes and all their children from completely different scenes by right-clicking on the node at the head of your scene, or whatever node you want to merge the new node to. Then select Merge from Scene. At this point, I like to just click on the little button right here, and it will open up a view of all the scenes in your current project. Just select the scene you want and choose the node you wish to merge by double-clicking. Godot has a default dark blue theme. Where most game engines will only let you use a dark theme if you pay a premium, Godot will let you choose your theme freely. Just click on Editor, Editor Settings, and Theme. Here you can change the color among many other things. So if you like hot pink for your editor theme, you got it. Or barf colored. I have found a liking for a jet black theme. It feels really clean and it's easy on the eyes. Just kidding, that's all there is, there is no 11, so... Hey, thank you so much for watching that. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, you know what to do. If you want us to leave a question or comment down below, if you can think of any other cool tips, be sure to put those in the comments as well. If you want to shoot me an email, you can. Um, I, I like feedback, and you guys are really cool. Thank you so much. Have a good one.